Okay, I about got everything together here. I'm going to start putting the uh, pistons and cylinders on my engine. Got things laid out on the workbench here. Um, I went ahead, got the cam lubed up. I don't know if you can see that or not. A little dark in there. I'll see if I can get a get a flashlight. Yeah, I put white grease. You can see it now. I put white grease on the camshaft. Got it lubed up. And we're going to start with the uh, installing the pistons and cylinders. I'm going to start with number four. And the reason for that is I've got this um, boss for the oil cooler. It's going to be in the way if I put number three on. First, I won't be able to drive this wrist pin in from this direction with these you always want to take your pistons out of your cylinders and clean them I found little styrofoam bits and so on and so forth up here where the oil ring groove is so you just want to be careful and make sure don't take the easy way out and just go and install them you want to take them apart and clean them re-oil them and, and get your ring compressor and put them back together got my baby girl Abby here she came out to work with me this morning she just got out of bed and her hair's just a little messed up, but she still looks very, very good, don't you, Abby? You still pretty, huh? Okay, I want to apologize for the the bad camera work here. Uh, a little short on help. What I do with this, I, I take this uh, Permatex aviation sealant, and you want to get a good coat of it all the way around. going to do this you're going to do this on this side and you're going to do it after you put your gasket on you're going to do it on top of the gasket as well this is a little hard to do I'm right handed and I'm trying to work with my left hand which I've had surgery on so be a little easier if I had a camera person but you have to go with what you've got right so anyway I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then I'll put the gasket on. I'm having a little trouble working with this hand. Then we'll put the top coat on. Okay, I got the sealant on the bottom and I'll put my gasket on. I'm going to go ahead and show you one of the gaskets here. Yeah. One, of the, one of the ones that's laying free. Yeah. Now this is the, the gasket that goes against the block. These are your head gaskets. We'll put those on later. So I'll give you a shot of that. Yeah. And we'll put more sealant on the top. And then we'll be ready to install this bad boy. Okay, I got number four cylinder just about done here. You can see now what I was talking about, how you, you, you can't drive that wrist pin in from this side because of the oil cooler boss. I went ahead and got my wrist pin driven in from this side. And I got my snap ring in it. This one's ready to push back. I'll go ahead and just see if I can do that. There we go. Okay, so we have one of them installed. Need to push that back just another scotch. A little hard to do one handed. Okay, I got number four completely in now. I want to show you a little something I do. I'm not sure if it's anything anyone else would be interested in doing or not. It's just a little trick that I use. I just take a regular half inch PVC pipe and I cut uh, four pieces all together, two one and, a, one and three quarter inches and one three and three quarter inches and I just slide it against the top of the cylinder here and then I tighten this just maybe a little bit more than finger tight and the reason I do that is this, as I turn this motor through its strokes to put the other pistons on, it's going to want to push this cylinder back off. Well, I've already got sealant and my gasket on there, and I don't want to work that seal there that way back and forth. So, just a little tip. 
Okay, I got all my cylinders on now. I'm ready to put the heads on. I just put uh, just put the fan on there to make it a little easier to turn the motor over. And I put my cylinders on in the order of four, three, and then one, and then two. So I'm going to go ahead and get the head ready and stick it on.